Like and subscribe to our channel, Fabulous Patia Media Group, by using the link below. A significant rise in COVID cases this morning as the government reported 27,024 new cases in a 24-hour period, just over 23,000 people having recovered and been released from quarantine, but 82 deaths attributed to the virus. This is ATK testing the home test kits sold for small amounts and used for COVID checks can in some cases prove worthless as Omicron, which has heavy flu symptoms, spreads like wildfire around the globe. The use of ATK testing here in Thailand is seen as proof positive or negative. Yet, reality is that you can test and test and test, and despite having symptoms, get only negative results, but have the virus. If you do have symptoms, it's far better to go to a clinic for full PCR testing to put your mind at rest. Most clinics and surgeries, along with hospitals, offer PCR testing on site and on demand. Results take up to a day, and yes, they're more expensive, but at least they are reliable. In Nakhon Sitamarat, an alleged drug trafficker facing attempted murder charges has been arrested along with his female partner. It seems that the 40-year-old shot his way out of an attempted arrest a year ago and was involved in a regular multi-million baht smuggling gang that brought in meth from neighbouring countries. Just over a year ago, saw him firing on police during an undercover sting operation, when he found that his expected customer in reality was a policeman. But to this story, there's more. He was originally stopped by local police some two weeks ago, and in his vehicle, two rifles found during a search. To the officer's surprise, he produced a gun licence for both of them issued this year, and the issuing Singh and Nakhon officer told police that he did issue the genuine licences because he thought the man had turned his life around and could be used as a double agent to glean information on other dealers. This despite a warrant still being out for his arrest. Thailand Securities and Exchange Commission has banned the use of cryptocurrency as a means of payment for goods or services here in Thailand as of April the 1st. Citing potential cybercrime and money laundering and an otherwise effective third currency after cash and gold, when the ban goes into effect, cryptocurrency dealing is not illegal in any way. Thailand has crypto asset purchase companies operating here legally too, where you can buy and sell. However, the block means that using crypto to replace cash in purchases could result now in fines. In Kanchanaburi, police interviewed a local monk where three of his ten pit bull dogs burst into a local family home seeing two young lads flee in fear and the family cat torn to shreds. It seems the temple had already in the past given the monk a warning, but the parents refused to raise police charges against the ordained man. Was it love that saw a man sail on his own in an eight-foot inflatable boat across the ocean? Well, it seems so, as a Vietnamese man was rescued from the Indian Ocean off Phuket, as he claimed to be on his way to India in the tiny vessel to find his wife in Mumbai, whom he hadn't seen since before the Covid era. Thai fishermen spotted the tiny inflatable and rescued him, finding him almost out of water and living on dried noodles. So now it's hoped he can raise the cash himself for one of those flights to India to get to see her safely. Keeping a deadly king cobra as a pet is illegal here. Makes sense, really, as their venom is lethal. However, that didn't stop one man contacting another in his snake group and asking for help when his snake was sick. No worries, called his pal. Just mail it to me and I'll help it recover. Mail delivery teams called authorities when they heard hissing coming from a package. The four-metre snake was recovered and handed to wildlife officers, and both men are being questioned. Meanwhile, at home and in our own region, this morning the province reports 1,341 new cases of COVID, 198 in Chambury, 423 in Sirachar, 361 in Banglamung, and 83 in Satahip. Despite the extreme amount of rain we're receiving this hot season, which is going to continue through the week, Kolan was running out of the wet stuff, it seems, and has seen the Navy deliver some 200,000 litres of water 
due to what's been described as an ongoing water shortage. With all the improvements to the island's infrastructure and its proximity to land, no pipeline appears to be in existence to keep the islanders or visitors moist. And with the Met Office promising highs today of 31, dropping down to 27, and the continued chance of rain at any time, local and national news today from Fabulous 103 FM and Fabulous Patia Media Group. And to get a notification every time we release another bulletin or programme.